Hello, it's the story with the reading for the collective. Ten of Swords, High Priestess. Some sort of crushing, crushing, heartbreaking ending. Some pain, pain, deep, deep pain in regards to a High Priestess energy who is looking away. Looking away from someone going through some sort of pain. Something you know, something you see, the, the way you are, who you are. Seven of Cups, High Priestess, you're still looking away. Someone could be trying to figure out what to do in regards to you. Oh, Devil, High Priestess, someone's obsessed with you, jealous of you. Someone operating out of shadowy energy. Someone letting some very shadowy energy overtake them. Wow, I feel like this wants to come out. There's a King of Swords watching, though. I feel like it's Archangel Michael. Um, now we have High Priestess Reverse under the deck. We have High Priestess Reverse under the deck with this Devil Chariot Reverse. So we have a chariot reverse and a devil reverse with a high priestess reverse. This is somebody in very, very dark energy that's out of control. Wow. Knight of swords reverse, high priestess reverse, devil reverse. This person, um, I feel like this person is becoming a darker version of themselves. Knight of Swords, Reverse, this is someone really, you know, out to do damage that is angry, filled with uh, spite, Salt, salty, salty, High Priestess, Reverse, someone who taps into lower vibrational spiritual energy, someone that has a hidden agenda, someone that is witchy, witchy, guides others the wrong way, Devil Reverse, somebody who, um, is obsessed, jealous, materialistic. I don't even know that you are, I mean, no, actually, I feel like you are aware of this person, tower reverse. They're trying to avoid a tower, this high priestess reverse. There's something they really don't, they don't want this shakeup, they don't want this truth, they don't want this humiliation, they don't want to lose something they built on lies or ego. Um, they don't want to have to face themselves, they don't want to face the truth, they don't want to have to feel like they lost, they don't want to see you do well, they have to face they're not you, if that's what it is, because this could be someone that's like a... Someone like a copycat, um, you know, imposter, someone that wants to be you. Um, maybe that's the, the biggest tower. Maybe some sort of humiliation. Nine of Swords reverse, Six of Cups. Ten of Cups reverse. Someone, um, this person is challenged because... They feel like they're losing control of someone's thoughts and feelings of you. Someone from the past with the Six of Cups. Someone that loves you unconditionally. They feel like they, they lost. They're obsessed. This person um, wants to get out of a nightmare. This is not happily ever after. No one is happy here. Um, Three of Swords Reverse. People's hearts are healing from something they've done. Someone is not rejected. This could be you. You're not rejected and your heart is healing from something. Uh, and someone here can't protect themselves from your Ten of Pentacles. That's connected to an Emperor, okay, or from an Emperor's Ten of Pentacles. Or they can't defend themselves in regards to this emperor with these ten of pentacles. 
So this could be someone who's very um, much a leader with a lot of access to resources. This is generational wealth. This is you building something very big with someone. So they feel like they can't, they won't, okay, they can't defend themselves if someone's on your side or there's someone making a judgment call here. So someone might have felt like as long as they had some sort of masculine energy, believing an illusion, a seven of cups type of energy, confused, not really seeing you for who you are, that they had control. Um, Knight of Wands in the subconscious. Something about someone following their passion, making a passionate move, going on an adventure, wanting to go on an adventure with someone um, is really bothering this person. Um, Nine of Wands reverse, and the recent past, this person is adamant about something. Um, they're going to keep going. They're going to keep doing something. This could also be someone whose knees are giving in. They can't take something anymore. They've got to give up. Um, they, they can't hold out anymore. Um, there could be people quitting something here um, or someone quitting. Someone's really in their ego about taking some type of a loss, maybe a financial loss, and you receiving something as this Queen of Pentacles, people seeing you as a Queen of Pentacles, someone embracing you as a Queen of Pentacles, uh, people um, understanding more of who you are. What you'll what you will do with this ten of pentacles, or how you'll interact with it, or how you manage it. There's something about that too, because I feel like this person's very money hungry. Um, High priestess reverse. This is someone who um, maybe tried to manipulate the way people see you. This is like a business person. This is someone that manages the home well. This is like a spouse. This is um, someone. Um, Just who has good manners or someone who is well thought of, I should say, more like that. Well thought of and someone that people can depend on. Yeah, maybe this person lied about you. So there's some sort of humiliation or they've really tried to block you or have people believe something about you that's not true. Um, five of Cups, there's a lot of regret here. I feel like there could be people realizing more of who you are and who they were attacking in the near future. Yeah. Part of a group, three of pentacles reversed. There could be someone here that's in remorse for participating in something that this group was doing at work or they were all working together. Um, it, it's falling apart. I feel like there's regret for participating in something here. Not the side priestess reversed, but people or someone. Yeah, there's like... Someone has to wait. Um, they're stuck. They they they're trying to avoid an, a tower, and they're stuck. So yeah, I feel like this avoiding the tower has been coming up and out for a while, and the tower reverse. You know they can't get out of the tower, so it's like stuck because they don't want something to happen. They don't want something to fall apart. So they're stuck in almost like it feels like a tower purgatory because it's like they're trying to stop it from happening. So something is not playing out fully because there's something that is like, it's like a painful pause. A lot of regret and remorse here in the near future. While, while someone's waiting for something, um, they have another avenue. Um, and that is just to let the tower fall um, and restart with truth, integrity, love, honesty, um, ethics. Um, the lens someone's looking through, Three of Swords Reverse, all they're seeing is that someone's overcoming some type of heartache. I feel like someone here tried to set someone up. There's a King of Pentacles Reverse. I feel like they're the one looking at you 
overcoming some type of heartache. This could be someone that um, they didn't want to let go of something, power or money. They could have done something very corrupt. They could have broken your heart um, in the pursuit of some sort of financial gain, luxury. Um, very, very dark. Someone embraced something very dark here for, for money and power. And now it's like you're not, not out in the cold. And maybe they can't talk to you or someone has to figure something out here or someone can, all they can do is wait and try to keep the peace. Or there's someone here trying to create a stalemate. And there's definitely something about being stuck in a drama. It just feels like a never ending drama. It's like stuck in a storm of a tower, like a falling tower that's like someone is trying to keep the, the stones the, from falling. And they won't be able to do anything else trying to stop the stones from falling. More and more light, you know, is going to peek through the cracks and more things are going to start falling. It's not possible to, you know, it's a tower that is falling. It is in the process of falling. There's no foundation here. There's not a true foundation. That's why it's falling. So it's not possible to keep it in the upright. And someone's trying, doing what they can. And they're doing it in a really dark way. Um, this tower also has to do with someone making you an offer. Some sort of potential or opportunity as well. Someone feels like they can't stand it. They can't stand it, they can't witness it, they can't experience it. Some sort of good news, they can't, they can't take it. Some sort of truth coming out, they can't take it. Someone could feel like they lost a connection with you and now there's this wheel of fortune in the upright in your life. Positive change, good luck, good karma. Um, in the environment five of wands so there's a lot of fighting going on discord and somebody here could also be in competition with you yeah it's somebody that is stalking lying slandering someone who is not interested in facing any kind of reckoning facing the music and all it's doing is creating a worse storm, a worse drama. And, and it has to do with you, some type of fight over you coming out of the cold, you overcoming some type of heartache, you receiving something, you being um, perceived for who you are, you being given an opportunity, um, your happiness fight over your you being satisfied and happy someone's clearly in competition with you this could be placing burdens on everyone around this person um someone feels really burdened by you being the star energy you lighting up the room you being born to shine you being a visionary you being a healer you being a light worker your wishes coming true Yeah, I definitely feel like this person's clearly in competition with you as well. Um, ho hopes and fears of the world. They could be afraid that a cycle is over. They don't want to see you at the pinnacle of success exhaling either. Um, this could be, this could be, this could happen along with a breakup. Something about a breakup or a broken contract leads to you being seen uh, in a certain way, you, you know, it's like a shooting star. It's like all the energy that was, you know, it's like a lid on top of a boiling pot. It's, it's rumbling. It's, you know, it's ready to shoot out. It's beautiful energy that somebody has been trying to keep a cap on or block or stop. And it's just, I feel like it's going to be a brilliant display. And it's almost like it happens at the same time as some type of a breakup. 
or someone breaks a contract with someone, someone who's been spending a lot of time by themselves. Um, this could also be, you know, there's like an ex involved or something like that. You could have spent a lot of time alone, soul searching, um, and the results of being ostracized or some sort of terrible actions here from someone that's very jealous or obsessed is you being very brilliant, see, seeing you in, in some very brilliant way. And um, there could also be someone here who has taken some time al alone or someone wants to take some time alone or someone um, is soul searching. Someone knows there's some sort of a breakup here or they could be soul searching during a breakup. Someone could be really worried that someone's going to make you an offer. Someone could be going through a breakup and is worried that someone's going to make you an offer. So this could be, um, yeah, an ex. Something about someone not being connect, having a connection with someone, um, and that makes someone happy. Someone might feel like you're going to be happy, you're going to be smug, because someone's not attracted to someone. Something backfiring here, something that someone was trying to do to you is happening to them. Ace of Wands reverse and Eight of Wands reverse, something backfiring here that someone was up to and you get you get to be happy. Um, yeah, someone doesn't get this milestone. It's like all these actions someone took, the energy they sent out, backfiring. Trying to block you. It, they only hurt themselves. They don't get any of the energy. The, the thing they were trying to do to copy you, replace you, or steal from you and, and uh, you know, create some type of an existence based off of your energy or your essence somewhere else, that also is failing um, outcome. The Magician. So... This could be you, um, you know, unencumbered, manifesting something that um, has been, that you've been working towards or energetically, um, or you're, apply, you, you're applying all your skills. It goes along with the star energy, um, manifesting something. I feel like it connects to your North Node I also feel like there could be someone else around you that's a master manifester um, that you may or may not know is working on your behalf. It feels like light energy. Um, it's positive, this magician in the upright. Eight of cups under the deck. This is about someone walking away from a situation and mastering their emotions. It's going on a quest. Um, it's going on a quest, not knowing what the future holds, but knowing that, you know, something is empty, there's nothing there, and needing to move on. So it can be scary because it's, it's, the journey ahead is unclear, but it's, it requires faith and it requires courage because, um, you know, there are cups there, but they're just empty. So, um, it's, 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 that's the mastering of the emotions because, you know, to be able to get clear about something enough to, to leave and go on a quest, following, following the heart, being trust, trust, trusting, having faith that, um, there is fulfillment. There is great love. There, love does exist. Um, that's, it's, a, it's a vote for, um, it's a vote for a positive outcome. It's a vote that, there's, there's benevolence in the universe. There could be someone admiring someone um, behind the scenes and they, they've been letting fear hold them back. could be someone that has a crush on you that is taking a step back and thinking 
someone in hermit mode, getting themselves in a space where they can really understand themselves, understand their place and, you know, being able to relax enough to, there's something about someone taking a pause, not making a move, but it's for the greater good. And I feel like there's someone else here who's stuck because someone else has paused. Um, someone also could be watching you um, and you're relaxed. A divine masculine energy. Um, watching you. Has this crush on you. Um, someone could see you as a blessing, you know, you could be pregnant, or it's that someone potentially also sees you as, you know, like we saw that Queen of Pentacles energy earlier, someone that they would like to, you know, manifest life with. Um, there is someone here that's afraid or overthinking something having to do with you being a blessing, um, manifesting life. Um, there, there's some sort of romance. Um, there's definitely someone overthinking something here. It could be a friendship group around this person. Um, The devil, reverse, chariot reverse. Someone doesn't want a conflict. There's someone's alone. This is like someone's not offering someone something. There's some sort of dreams here. Something about a friendship group. Someone's seeing something from a new perspective about a pro proposal or marriage. Someone loves someone. A water sign. S someone sees a water sign as a blessing. Um, there's something about someone not betraying someone. Someone loves someone. Someone doesn't want someone to have a fresh start. Someone that's unawakened and ruled by the ego doesn't want someone to have a fresh start, though. Someone doesn't want someone to reconcile. It's like a false twin flame energy. Someone doesn't want someone to go away with someone. There's more than one, more than one person here. Um, Six of Cups, someone wants to, someone is thinking of you from the past. They want to get out of a nightmare. Um, time for a change. They want to make a big change. Um, they want to let go of someone that's clingy and unawakened and ruled by the ego who doesn't love themselves. They're trying, they're, this is someone who's going within. They're trying to trust their guidance. They're trying to tap in. This is someone that's going through some type of a dark night of the soul. It's interesting because there is something that's happening very quickly, though. Um, a marriage, some sort of forever commitment. And someone's not proposing to someone. A karmic partner's involved. Someone doesn't want this life partner or... Someone doesn't want someone to reconcile with someone. Someone's not coming forward. Someone's going through a dark night of the soul. Someone's trying not to overthink something regarding some sort of manipulation or controlling or toxic, you know, element regarding marriage. Deep down, there's something about someone following their passion that is really bothering someone. Yeah, it has to do with someone chasing someone, pursuing someone. Deep down, there's that's bothering someone. 
Um, something about someone doesn't want someone to be affectionate with someone. So, something to do with a divine connection. Someone here, there's some sort of manipulative person, toxic person, doesn't want someone to come forward. But there is romance here. Someone going through some type of an awakening. Knight of Wands, reverse in the past. Um, I feel like someone is giving in, or there's someone here who's real obstinate. Either way, it's causing someone to go through a dark night of the soul. Someone's facing their fears. Um, they're going inwards. They're not saying much. They're in a dark night of the soul. This is going to have to do with communication. Not coming forward. They could definitely be trying not to overthink something, but it, it has to, this person feels unconditional love or they, they miss you. They miss unconditional love. They miss the six of cups energy. They're just not, they're not saying anything. Um, you might have new love in your life. That feels like a cosmic gift. Someone here is seeing something clearly about jealousy. Yeah, they're seeing something from a new perspective. Someone's surrendering or going with the flow. Or someone might feel like you're not jealous of something. You're surrendering and going with the flow. Maybe someone thought that you were stuck on them. But you're moving on. Someone feels like they're not getting this ace here. They're, they've lost a blessing. They, they're losing something tangible. Um, they're not sure exactly when, but they feel like whatever this is, is connected to a very heavy decision. It has to do with marriage. not being able to reconcile or someone doesn't want someone to reconcile someone doesn't want someone to compromise this has to do with someone's sole purpose yeah there's something with like a third party involved um who who won't release won't move on um this has to do with some sort of marriage and someone really missing you someone someone not taking action seeing the signs, seeing some type of signs. Um, something to do with competition or not being able to reconcile. A lot of it has to do with some type of dysfunctional relationship to, to money and not, or problems with money and not going within, not meditating. Um, somebody connected with someone who mirrors them. Um, there could be family involved. A lot of regret and sadness in the near future. Um, it just feels like it's getting worse. Um, yeah, there's some sort of conflict here with this devil reverse, chariot reverse. It just seems like it's getting more and more out of control with some, in some situation here. Very toxic. Um, yeah. A lot of deception, lies, someone's wearing a mask. There's a lot of fear. Someone's not taking action. Um, it has to do with someone's self-worth. Making plans have to do with someone's self-worth. Um, Something also about um, seeing intimacy from a place that's a lot less complicated than they did before. Um, yeah. Five of Cups, um, some sort of regret. 
it has to do with inner child work. I'm not sure where that went out. Um, regret in the past, and sorry, in the near future has to do with someone not going within and doing shadow work. Someone really missing you. Um, you seem to have some sort of good karma here. They might not like that you've got some type of life partner here. Um, at least they see you as a blessing. I don't know if you're pregnant or, you know, it's just that you're, someone sees you as a blessing. They're, they don't, they're not tempted by other people. There's something about dreams that's very um, significant there. Um, just the timing of all of it. Someone feels like they can't, like they're losing a divine feminine energy. They can't redeem themselves. They wish they didn't run. They're very triggered. Um, they, they're triggered. Um, they could be, there could be their egos getting in, in the way, um, overthinking, not doing the shadow work, some sort of betrayal and deception, especially around their feelings. Um, it's something about them trusting guides, but trusting guides around. It's something like awakening. This person could be going through a spiritual awakening. There's something about jealousy that they're dealing with here. Something to do with the past life connection. Jealousy regarding someone touching someone else. Something to do with someone being a blessing, fertility. Someone being very manipulative or toxic. Something to do with a friendship group. Three of Swords Reverse. Someone sees you overcoming heartache here. Um, they feel like they're... Like you let them go, but they feel like they were supposed to be your divine counterpart, but they um, didn't rise to the occasion. Um, th yeah, that they didn't come together in union with you. And that you're overcoming the heartache of some sort of b the betrayal that is, goes along with, you know, it's not even, it's, it's, uh, it's like a divine connection. It's very, very, you know, it's like they chose a false twin flame or something like that here. Or someone that's not a divine connection. They're more like a lesson. Um, this could be a fire sign. Yeah, this is something about marriage. You overcoming pain around a marriage. Um, yeah, they feel like they, they dropped the ball with a union here. Could be a water sign. Um soulmate, a divine connection having to do with a water sign. Um, something about a problem with a friendship group. And then thinking, thinking back, thinking back about the past memories, the, the good times and that you over, you overcame. Maybe you said something to them. They're thinking about the things that you said and they have a lot of regret. They feel like they sabotage themselves. They see you happy and they feel like they can't reconcile. Um, they, they can't compromise with you, but they're going through some type of awakening. Um, that they feel like they missed because they didn't go within. So they missed that it was a divine connection and now they're not coming together with you. Um, and you're releasing the pain. You, they admire your self-worth. Um, there's something about a karmic partner. Something about timing with a karmic partner. Um, trying to stop them from having a fresh start. Or someone not um, feeling like they could love again. Some sort of fear. Fear around someone's soul purpose. Definitely something about jealousy, big lessons about jealousy here and someone's boundaries. Five of Wands, there's some sort of conflict or competition going on um, with a karmic partner in the environment. 
Um, they're trying to go with the flow. Um, or some sort of lesson someone's learning because there's no connection with someone. Um, whereas with you, or they feel like they can't hear you anymore. Um, maybe you felt like you were, you could hear one another. Uh, maybe you closed that off, that door. It's just not, it's not open. The door's not open. Or they chose a relationship where there was no um, telepathy. You couldn't hear each other. Or there was that extra connection where, yeah, it's like picking up on each other's thoughts and things like that. There could be an earth sign here. Someone could feel like they're being replaced by an earth sign that's a divine connection. Um, or there's something about an earth sign where there's a, a, or a soulmate. Um, someone wants to apologize. They want to apologize. Um, someone's afraid of the pinnacle of, ex of success or seeing you, seeing you on top or seeing, seeing the finish seeing how this ends and you, you know, it's almost like running off into the sunset with someone else. Um, and it just all being a lesson that they didn't, um, that they didn't fulfill their, their, you know, that they, they betrayed you. They didn't listen to their guide, guide, guides, their guidance, their, their higher self that they held back, but also there's something about this person unclear about timing, something to do with a betrayal here and, and not saying anything because they feel like they almost feel like they're supposed to go through something or that there's something that they have to wait something through, or there's something about someone having trouble meditating or not seeing something clearly. Someone here is a gift. Someone's going with the flow. Out come the magician. Someone here is a master manifester. Within a few months, reverse. It has to do with someone, um, something to do with timing. Someone really loves someone. Um, a fire sign is missing you. Um, something about timing and there's still something about toxicity here. Not being a secret admirer. Someone here unwakened, ruled by the ego. Something about someone not wanting to touch someone. Someone thinking about the past. Someone wanting forgiveness for some sort of deception, um, having to do with someone, someone's blessings or someone being a gift, something to do with the past life connection, something about trusting and waiting, um, someone missing you, trusting the process. Yeah. Someone's a master manifester here. Somebody wants forgiveness. Someone's trusting their guides, trying to trust. It has to do with someone not being loyal to someone, not coming together in union with someone. Some letting go of temptation. Uh, some, some sort of spiritual awakening here. And so, someone leaving a situation um, where there's someone clingy, leaving, not overthinking. Um, there is new love here. There is new love here. Someone doesn't see someone as, as competition. Someone's a gift. Um, I feel like that someone can't release or move on. Something's happening very quickly, very quickly towards a marriage. Someone sees someone as a blessing 
Wow. Um, yeah, we'll leave this there for now. If you resonate, I hope that it helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.